it's Donna, and I'm here with my daughter. Kyla. <laughs> and today we have May's Stitch Fix Pop. So I really wasn't specific with this box. Um, I told my stylist, bring on the spring. Of course, now we're kind of inching towards summertime, but I'm hoping that maybe there's some cute things in here. I have no clue what they sent us. I do not cheat. I don't like to see it until I get it like a surprise. Um, but if you are new to our channel, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, hopefully you enjoy yeah. what you see. If you do, make sure you hit that like button below. So if you're also new to Stitch Fix, I'll give you a really quick rundown so I don't bore you what Stitch Fix all is. So it is a styling service in your home. You go online, take some really simple surveys, them all about yourself, what your sizes are, what you like, what you don't like. You can leave notes for your stylist, which is really cool. They also have these really um, neat style swipes, I think is what they call it. I can't remember. But you put your thumbs up, thumbs down, whether you like the items, and it gives your stylist a little bit better of an idea of what you like and what you don't like. They send you five items to your home, you try them on in the comfort of your home, and then you decide what you want to keep and then what you want to send back. They send you a prepaid envelope in here, so it's super simple. You just stick everything back in the envelope, you mail it back. If you don't like anything, you just send it on back. What's also neat is I have a link below in the description that will give you $25 off of your first box, which covers your styling fee, and then $25 towards something you wanna keep in your box. The styling fee is normally $25, but as long as you keep something, you don't lose that $25. It gets applied to whatever you do keep. Um, also, I have an annual membership, which is really cool which is by invite only. So if you do enough of these Stitch Fix boxes, they will eventually ask you if you wanna join the annual program and they will also use your credits if you have any um, that will go towards that annual fee, which is really cool. So I get to get these boxes style free once you pay for that $49 a year or something like that. And again, mom, you get that money back towards something, towards your box. Yes. My mom is part of the Stitch Fix family too. Apparently. <laughs> Um, I've had the same stylist for a very long time, so hopefully it's the same stylist because she does a great job with what I like. Also, I wanted to tell you about the shirt I'm wearing. Why am I wearing this shirt, right? Normally I wouldn't wear this. But Stitch Fix contacted me a few weeks ago and told me that they were giving me $20 in credits for free so soft. Mm, to try out their new shop by category. So you can go online now and you can just shop, which before you really couldn't do that unless you had already bought things from Stitch Fix. So they gave me this $20 credit and I thought, there's something I'm gonna be able to find for 20 or at least close to it. So I ended up getting this North Face t-shirt, which is like Kyla said, really soft and comfortable. And I only paid um, $5 for it because I had $20 in credit. So it was $25. I only paid $5 for it, which is cheaper than what I probably could have gotten it in a thrift store for. So thank you Stitch Fix for my cool t-shirt. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and let's see what they sent us this month. Great. They sent us. So on top they have our prepaid shipping label bag. So we're gonna send everything back to that that we don't like. Yeah. What's that? This is our little stylus card. Um, it gives you examples of what you can do with your outfits, but we don't even know what's in our outfits. So we're gonna just read the stylus oh note that they sent us um, to see what Kenzie sent us. Welcome to your 15th stitch fix. Oh my goodness, 15. <laughs> That's quite a bit. All right, I'm thrilled to see you loved your paper moon top from last time. I had a feeling it would be right up your alley, and I have worn that to work quite a few times already. This time, I've selected a variety of pieces that will be perfect for the warm weather ahead. Wear the light green floral split neck blouse by Fun to Fun when you want to dress up a bit. The white textured tank by Market and Spruce is so versatile and will be great staple for the summer. Pair either of these tops with a pair of jeans, work pants, or shorts. Throw on a light blue jogger by T4T for a casual and comfy look. How do they fit you? The navy crisscross neck knit top by Emery Park, that was a mouthful, will be a fun casual piece to add to your closet. Since the workout tops I've sent you in the past have been too snug, I thought the pink tank by Gayam might be a better fit. Have fun, Donna, XO, Mackenzie. Yay, Mackenzie. And you're 15. 15th, I know, that's crazy. They also sent us an invoice, um, which we will leave for last because I don't like that to sway my opinion. We'll try everything on first. And then a little ditty about their shop by category, like a postcard in there as well. Oh, they're really promoting this hard because they also have a sticker on there that <laughs> you can shop by categories. And I will and Here's our bundle. Oh, so Ooh, cool. let's turn it around this way to see a look. Look at all these floral patterns. Oh, pretty? this one is not soft. All right. I will open it. All right. Ooh, okay. 
So this is really pretty. Look at this cute white top by Market and Spruce. I love this design. The inside is so soft. It's gonna be hard to show you in the camera because of the, the light I'm using, um, but it has raised little circles on there, um, and then the cotton in the back, which I do like that um, style. So you wanna hold on to that for me, Kyla? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll Next, ooh, it's a green floral top. Ah, so this is similar to the style I got last month in the purple top because it has these cute little cap sleeves. I don't know about these colors. They're kind of vintage looking and I know this is in right now, but I just haven't jumped on the train for these colors yet. Um, but there are some pretty blues in there as well. So I'll be curious to see I'll put what it looks like. Up. So here's the gam top she was talking about. But it's light pink in the video. Mm, I like that. Look at the back. It's got a cool little keyhole detail there. So you like always color. know that. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the Emory and Park. I'm not sure about this one because I don't know if that's going to be too low. Um, it's a, just a basic navy top though, but the front has a crisscross detail. So I don't know. We'll see. I've tried shirts like this before and usually they're too low cut, um, but I can always put some sort of tank top underneath of it. And then, oh, did she send me a pair of joggers? You did, Mackenzie. Cute, cute, cute. I love this it's blue soft. wash look and yeah, they're very soft. And I love the tie waist because of course we can adjust them as needed. All right, let's go ahead and try some of these things on and then we'll get together at the end and we'll take a look at the prices. So hang on. Okay, so I went ahead and tried on the white tank top for you guys first. I really love it. It's a little on the tight side, which is odd um, because I do like this brand typically, but for some reason this is a little bit tighter. But you can see there's like a sheer layer over the tank, which I do like that. So it adds a little bit of thickness to it so it's not as see-through, um, but I like the cut of it. Here is the fabric detail. Get a little closer so you can see that with the raised dots on there. I love white in the summertime, especially when I get tan because I feel like it makes you look tanner, which is really cool. Um, but I do, I mean, I like the fit. Just a little tight across the bottom here, um, but overall I do like this. I just have to decide whether it's too tight around the hip area or not. All right, let's try on the next top. All right, so here is the second top. I'm just not a fan of the vintage floral. I, and the material's a little itchy. I love this style shirt though, um, because it's a cap sleeve, which means I don't have to put a cardigan in the hot summertime with it, which I do like. I'm just not a fan of this print. I, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm okay with this V-neck here, it's not too low. I also love the pleating detail here. Maybe if it was a different color, I might like it a lot better. Um, I like that the pattern continues throughout the whole back of it as well. I, I don't know. I really would love to hear what you guys think about this in the comments below, and whether you like this print on me or not. I just don't know if I would grab for it. It just doesn't catch my eye, but that's just a personal taste, I think. But overall, I do like the top. Don't know why the material's itchy. I don't know. It's a weird polyester, probably. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get the next top on. Okay, so I went ahead and paired the blue navy top with the joggers. Let's talk about the top first. So definitely was right about how low this is. It's too much for me, too much skin going on. It's cute, but I would have to wear a tank top and I think that that would look weird with the crisscross thing going on. And it's just a basic blue top. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be too expensive for what I wanna spend on something like this. Um, so. I don't know, I mean, it's, and it's really long too. So I think that's kind of odd. I tucked it up, it was too long. I, I don't know, I don't think it does anything for my body. All right, let's talk about the joggers. <laughs> so they're too big on me, as you can see. There's like something going on here, like weird, um, way too much fabric. So I'm okay with it being too big, but they're not gonna work for me. And I just don't think the styling on them is gonna work for me. Um, the length is good. They're just too baggy. Maybe if I went down a size, it might work for me. Um, but I'm not in love with them. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, I'd be worried that this crotchy area <laughs> would be the same way with the smaller size. So I'm going to kind of probably pass on the pants as well. All right, let's go ahead and try on that last gayum top. All right, so here's the last top. 
I love this color too in the summertime because again, I just think it's very um, complimentary to a tan. I think it makes your skin pop. I just, I don't know, I really love this color. Um, I like the fit of it too. I went ahead and paired it with one of my existing sports bras to kind of see what it would look like. Um, it is a little bit sheer, but I like lightweight when you're working out. You don't want anything heavy and thick. So the front is really basic, but what I love is the back. So it does have this nice keyhole detail and it has like a stitching right here that I really like um, that holds the racer back in place. Um, so I think this is cute. This might be one of my favorite tops out of the box, which is kind of weird because it is a workout top. <laughs> um, but I do like this. So I'm glad that McKinsey picked this size and this brand for me for this top. So let's go ahead and get together though and take a look at the prices and see where we're at. Okay, so I like what I see for the prices. Mackenzie knows that I like the lower priced items. I'm a budget shopper, so that's what I always ask for. So, so far, I am liking the prices that I'm seeing on the paper. So let's go ahead and go through them. The first one listed is the Gayam Top in pink. This one is the Peace Jersey Tank. And this one's only $30. So I'm pretty sure I'll be keeping this one because I really do like it. Um, all right, let's talk about the joggers. So the joggers, unfortunately, like I said, were too big, um, but these are by T4T. These are the Carla Burnout Joggers in light blue, and they're $44, which really is not bad for a pair of jogger pants. I've seen a lot in my other boxes that are way more than that, like $60 and up. So the $44, I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right, I guess I need to know from you guys whether I should size down on those or not. Now I'm just really hung up on that crotch area and what's going on there. But, all right, let's talk about the Market and Spruce White Tank Top. This one is the Ezide Texture Print Top, and this one is the most expensive. This one's $58. Wasn't in love with the fit on this one, so I'm going to pass on that one, I'm pretty sure. But let me know what you guys think. All right, the next one is the Fun to Fun with the Floral Print. This is the Walden Spl Split Neck Blouse in Light Green. This one's $38, which that one is affordable if I had liked the color in the print. So I'm mm, not sure about that one. And then lastly is the Emery Park Dulce Short Sleeve Knit Top in Navy. And this one is $34, which I think is too expensive for this basic top, which I really don't like the style of. Anyway, so I think the winner is the tank I'm wearing. <laughs> Um, if you buy all five items though in your box, you do get an additional 25% off. So the total for the whole box was $204 minus that $51 would give me $153 if I were to buy everything, which is a pretty reasonable price. There's maybe one or two, actually just the one top was too expensive, I thought, the $58 top. Otherwise, I thought they were pretty reasonably priced. What did you guys think? All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Don't forget the link below if you want to give Stitch Fix a try. You can click that and get $25 off of your first box. You have nothing to lose. All right, so I've got for you guys today. Make sure you like the video and also make sure you what? Subscribe to your channel and click the bell. Yeah, click that bell. <laughs> All right, till next time, guys. Happy styling. Bye.